Hello, fellow potatoes. I'm Potato Smarts. Welcome to 10 Bed Wars Tips and Tricks. Last time I did this video, I had four stars in Bed Wars. So I've gained just a bit of experience. Anyway, I'm here to share that experience with you guys. So let's get started. Also, if you find any of these tips helpful, be sure to leave a like on the video. It really helps. And I've been live streaming a lot lately, so if you don't have your notifications on, You've been missing the live streams, which kind of sucks. So make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss the next live stream. Anyway, let's get started. The first rule of Bed Wars is, is play 4v4. D don't play- who plays the stuff over here? Nobody? Actually, actually, I just looked at the player count. A lot of people play stuff over here. J just play 4s. 4s is much better. Anyway, the number 2 rule of Bed Wars is is to have a defender. If you don't have a defender, you lose the game. So I like to, to, to just t tell my team to pl please, de please defend like four times and then they might defend. It, it, it's much easier to coordinate if, if you're in a party. The number three rule of Bed Wars is build to- oh god, I just fell off. The number three rule of Bed Wars is to build to middle. This will give you an offensive advantage because you can reach all the teams I'm so bad! As I was saying, you can reach all the teams equally. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to do what my teammate did. My teammate built straight here, so anyone on the middle island can go doo doo walk onto our bridge, and destroy our bridge. You want to build higher. So you want to make a really high bridge that it requires blocks for people to get onto. This way they can't directly access it from mid. I kind of replicated what it would look like if, if my teammate didn't build like that. Just build upwards. Number five. I said this in my last Bed Wars Tips and Tricks video when I had four stars. I still believe it now. When you get your materials, you buy your stuff, put the remaining stuff in your ender chest. It builds up. See, I already have enough to get TNT and destroy people's beds. Just put the items in the ender chest before you go on your way. And speaking of what you put in your ender chest, you don't need the fancy armor and the fancy swords. All you need is a good pickaxe, good axe, and TNT. Now, if you're in a tight situation at the end of the game, you don't have a bed, you need to PvP, then do get the armor and the swords and stuff. But in any other case, don't use that. Now, normally I would begin this strategy by blowing up their bed defense, but they do have blast proof glass, so it's a bit hard to blow up their defense. In this case, I'll need to somehow outmaneuver them so I can eventually get to their bed. So if I just build upwards, drop a TNT on their first layer of wood, get that kind of out of the way, then I'll probably be able to mine the end stone, whatever under that, and destroy their bed. So I'm just gonna jump behind them, hit them off the edge, kind of like this. I'm kind of like teaching you how to attack with the items that we just got. We can just PvP them kind of off the edge, and we'll be able to mine their bed. We might not be able to kill them, but at least we got their- I clutched it. I just- I just clutched it. <laughs> It meant nothing. Which brings us to number seven, which is the use of traps. Basically, if anyone tries to come up here, I'll just try and get, hit them into the void. Like so. Exactly like that. That's how the trap is supposed to work. And then I can kind of go like that, maybe destroy their bed, get a couple final kills. Traps are just the best in Bed Wars. Mostly because a lot of Bed Wars players fall for them. Number eight, iron golems are literally the most OP and best thing you can get in Bed Wars. I love them so much. Anyway, I just have two iron golems right here and you'll see how I use them. See, this person thinks he has a chance at PvP in me. Actually, I, I, let's just kill him. He, he had no idea what was going on. Kill him too. The game's over, I can't even show you how OP iron golems are. Anyway, just take my word for it. If you spawn iron golems, the game's over. Just make sure to don't spawn them at your defense. Because they despawn after a while, so you're kind of wasting iron if you just spawn them for no reason. Only spawn them when there's somebody there that you're PvP in. And tip number nine. Most people, or at least a lot of the people I've talked to, don't know that coin boosters exist. Just do slash booster in any lobby. You can just go to personal boosters, and you probably have a couple stacked up. At least if you have a rank. I'm not sure where you get these boosters, but I have four different personal boosters. I've used a lot of them. But basically, you just get 
two, three, four times coins for a set amount of hours. And these are really helpful to getting coins. As you see, I have 125,000 right now. The last trick I have for you guys is make friends and play in parties. If you have a party full of 50 stars, they can't be beat. So find friends and form a party. If you don't have any friends, well, well, well then, here's a tutorial on how to get friends. All you gotta do is type swap lobby one in any Ben Wars lobby, and then there's so many potential friends here. Now all you gotta say is, hi, who wants to uh, play the Bedwars? The Bedwars? Hopefully someone will answer. All around me are familiar faces. Yeah, so uh, this time, I, I haven't really got any friends. But one of these days, someone might want to play on a party with you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If it helped you, be sure to like the video. Be sure to not miss the next streams. Subscribe and turn on notifications so that you, you, you don't miss my live streams. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people that are watching my videos, but they just don't know that I live stream. Which is pretty weird. TURN ON YOUR NOTIFICATION! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this kind of update Bedwars tips and tricks video. I'll have another video coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. Goodbye! I just ran into the wall. Goodbye!